I never liked gefilte fish growing up because all I had was this canned or jarred, awful, tasteless variety. But it's really just the word that sounds awful. And even if you don't like gefilte fish, you'll love the horseradish. When people think of Jewish food, gefilte fish has to be at the top of the list. I make this once a year, just before Rosh Hashanah, but you could make it any time. Well, fish balls went way, 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 way back to antiquity, where they were put together with all kinds of spices. But gefilte fish really started in either Eastern Germany or Eastern Europe. Jews came there, they wanted a little bit of fish for the Sabbath because it says that in the Talmud that you must have a little bit of fish, also a little bit of garlic and a little bit of beets for the Sabbath. It was fish that was put back in the skin, gefilte means filled, and as the gefilte fish started crossing the ocean to America, the fish got a little bit easier. During World War I, believe it or not, mother's gefilte fish was, was made in jars for the army. What I do now is, at least for Rosh Hashanah and for other holidays, is I make this mold of fish and dill, and you can make it with all salmon if you want, or which is very pretty and pink. You can use the, the traditional three uh, white fish pike, and if you want mullet or carp. Um, whatever you want and wherever you live, whatever is local can go into this mold. I don't like things that are too pureed. I actually saute half and put half in um, unsauteed. Matzo meal, a little bit of mustard, some sugar, a tablespoon of salt, and I put a lot of fresh dill in mine. We'll set the clock for 10 minutes and see how it's going. And we put in two cups of water. Some people separate their eggs, I don't bother. We're gonna put a little bit of this in for a few more minutes. Yeah, this really looks beautiful. It's pink, it has good color, it's got orange in it, it's got green in it. Yeah, maybe I could help some of these companies have some better gefilte fish. It doesn't take much either. And then I put it into a greased silicone. You don't have to use silicone, I kinda of like it. Water, boiling water. And I'm going to put it, it, it could be about two inches or less, in a, a pan that's larger than my mold. It was a surprise to me to learn the original word for this was bain-marie la juive. And bain-marie means a, um, a bath, a water bath, by somebody named Marie. Marie was a Jewish woman who was an alchemist or a protochemist. Um, in the third century. And she realized that if you put, this was for hearth cooking, if you put hot water um, in a bowl and then put something in it again and, and baked it right near the hearth, it would, don't forget there were no stoves in those days, everything was just cooking there, that it would uh, cook what you had there. So I'm gonna put this in the bain-marie. This has been sitting for an, about an hour so that it's cooled down. And flip it over. Woo! Isn't that beautiful? Serve it. Looks pretty, huh? And this will serve up to 20 people. So it's perfect. Mmm. Shana Tova. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.